Hi there and welcome to Wassel Woodworking. Today's episode we're going to be making a garage door indicator. It's a little electrical project, very simple, runs off a very very uh, simple schematic that I'm going to show you in just a few minutes. But I do this so that when I go to bed at night I don't have to worry is the garage door left open. Um, I do have an app on my phone I can check that but it's annoying so instead what I have is an LED light that's above my bed. Uh, tucked into the ceiling fan that lights up if the garage door is open. So it makes it really easy. So hey, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the schematic right here. So on the schematic on the left hand side, you'll see a power supply. It's 5 volts, about 210 milliamps. You don't need much, so we'll go with as lowest amount of milliamps as possible. And then just cut the plug off and solder it straight into a 330 ohm resistor that allows it not to oversupply the LEDs. And then it's on to the reed switch. Uh, one side goes to ground, the other side goes to normally closed. I actually had to modify my uh, reed switch by buying one on Amazon and getting it shipped here. And then after that, you'll see I have a test LED that's in the garage and then the red and black wires run 50, 60 feet all the way back to the back uh, master bedroom where they tie into the bedroom LED. And that's all there is to this schematic. So now that we've seen that schematic, the wire from the bedroom runs on the top of this beam up here, all the way around down this two by six um, board. And right here I have the electrical, uh, the basically magnetic reed switch. It's right here. So we're gonna go to a cut showing you that right now. So there is the momentary contact switch that is on the back. Uh, been glued to the back rail and the magnet is uh, right there at the top of that bracket and it'll hold on there just fine and that's what ensures that the momentary switch stays connected. So here's the little reed switch. It's just a security switch and I'm going to open it up and replace the reed with uh, one that is actually a double pole or has a normally closed and normally open but I'm going to use the normally closed side. So I pop it off pulled out under the screws and the nuts on the other side of the screws are just basically soldered straight to the reed switch. So here you can see the reed switch and I'm going to basically tie it in in parallel to this and then I will cut the other one back out when I'm finished and all I have to do then is reassemble it. So once the solder gun was hot I pre tinned the wires and put it on there and then basically insert it back into the casing, put the screws back in. And once the screws are back in, put the cover back on and some foam tape to hold it in place and I'm finished. Now that you've seen that, I also mentioned that there was a little LED to give you a feeling for what's going on up there. It helps with testing. And then that runs down the wall, back around over here to the switch, I mean to the outlet. Now the outlet is just running, it's a five volt uh, wall um, power supply, uh, 5 volt like for a USB for cell phone or something like that. And uh, this one is only 200 milliamps, so even with the LED on, it draws like one watt or less. So it's nothing to worry about from an electrical standpoint. Very simple, very basic, and it works great. So it gives me a lot of security night knowing that the garage door is down, no matter who's been in or out. Although a lot of times that could be me. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe today. Um, I have produced woodworking videos every two weeks. Um, take a look at those, at the links that will be popping up right here. And I'll see you next time on Wassa Woodworking.